Mauro, the painting project at home that a lot of homeowners actually take on. Um, it's a very popular project. Although when they go down to the home center to buy a paintbrush, it can be overwhelming. And I know that when you're walking through the aisles picking a paintbrush, you know just what to get. Exactly. Let me tell you this. When you see this brush, mm -hmm. this is natural hair. Good okay. for oil-based paint. Sometimes we call them a china bristle too? China bristle, same thing. All right, so oil. And if we put this into a latex or water-based, it's just a disaster. It's not going to do anything to it. Okay. Okay. Then we have the synthetic hair. Some people call synthetic blend. Yeah. This paint goes with everything. Oil-based paint, water-based paint. Right. Okay. It does the work. So the material is critical. And we don't use a lot of oil. I mean, we still use oil, but not much of it. So we could actually almost do away with the china bristle and just go for synthetic. This one is out. This one does everything you need to do. When are you using a foam brush for paint? Because I think of these as things for maybe stain or, I mean, when does this come in handy? This foam brush is one-time use, good for touch-ups. Touch and say touch-ups, you can dab the paint into the walls without making huge stroke marks. So we're not actually dragging this back and forth. Not dragging that, so you're just dabbing nice and smooth. Okay, get the right material, probably synthetic. Synthetic um, is the way to go. The other thing that's on the uh, wall, the aisle there, are the shapes, right? We've got them angled and then we've got them cut straight. Okay, we have this angle brush, what we're using for cutting yep. around doors and windows. And then you have the flat, where you do large areas that needs a lot of more coverage. So if you're painting the side of a house, you're gonna be using this in the field. If you're painting the exterior of your house, the siding or the clapboards, yeah. you're gonna use a flat. Okay. Or if you're doing a deck, you're gonna use the same flat brush. Right. If you're cutting in, if you need precision, you're always going with the angle. With the angle brush, always. Okay. Uh, the material, shape, what about size? Because they come in a whole bunch of different There's sizes. There's a different size, as you can see. You always try to match the size of a brush with the surface you're trying to paint. Okay. So something like this is going to be used where? So if, let's say you paint a window sash. Oh. This will do the work for you. You've got the little wood muttons, and so you're going to go with, uh, what is that, Probably inch one, and a half? inch and a half sash. And if you're going to do the casings around the window, if the trim, the, case, the baseboard? Correct. If you're doing the case, the two and a half inches is the best. That's the one to go for right there. That's the one. Okay, cool. And then uh, let's talk quality because, boy, I tell you, it is tempting to go in there. When you see paintbrushes that cost as much as $15 or more, to grab the $2 brush and say, ah, you know, once or twice I'll use it and I'm done. You're completely done. Yeah. You don't think so? I don't think so. I always go for the good quality brushes. They because, are built better. Yeah. And you can see here, even the ferro is different from the cheaper brush. Well, I mean, it's true, right? Because, I mean, if you use these, you do end up with some of these bristles in your paint job. Some of them get left behind on the surface. And you then, like you say, that. I mean, look at this ferrule, right? Not much to it, Correct. just in pressed in there. This one. What's that material? This is copper. Right, very nice. And, I mean, you're going to reuse that brush a lot. A lot. For how long? I, for many times. As long as you take care of the brush, clean up nice, the brush will take care of you. Yeah, cool. All right. Well, next time I go to the home center, uh, you're coming with me. If I'm not there, you know what to look for. <laughs>